My name is Carol Alexander. I'm the author of Value at Risk Models, Volume 4 of the Market Risk Analysis series. There are two main aspects of market risk analysis, risk assessment and hedging. This book concerns the first aspect, the assessment of market risk. In fact, this was the book that I started to write five years ago. But it didn't take me five years to write just one book. I realized that I needed to write three other books before I could write this book. First, I needed to equip the reader with all the quantitative skills that are necessary in market risk analysis. Then, I needed to provide the knowledge of financial instruments, how they're priced and how they're hedged, because unless you understand that, you won't be able to build a value at risk model. Volume two, Practical Financial Econometrics, is a standalone book in financial econometrics. But it also equips the reader of volume four with the understanding of the models that are used in buy-side risk management, the returns models, such as the Barra model, and techniques such as principal components analysis, Garch and copulas, which are used throughout Volume 4. Volume 3, Pricing, Hedging and Trading Financial Instruments, covers financial markets, the pricing and hedging of financial products, and the mapping of portfolios. And each type of portfolio is mapped in a completely different way. The way we map interest rate sensitive portfolios is not at all the same as the way that we map options portfolios to their risk factors. And all those aspects of market risk analysis are necessary to understand before you can build a value at risk model. Volume four opens with a description of the different type of risk metrics that may be applied and the reasons why value at risk has become an almost universal risk metric that is used in banking, in corporate treasury, in fund management, and in virtually every type of financial institution. Then there are five chapters which deal with the construction of value at risk models. First of all, dealing with the three main frameworks. That's the parametric linear VAR models, historical simulation, and Monte Carlo. A chapter on the value at risk of options portfolios is then followed by unifying the previous four chapters into the chapter headed risk model risk. And here we look at the backtesting framework and the reasons why different value at risk models give different results. The chapter on stress testing and scenario analysis is particularly important in the current volatile environment, but also because of the new BAL2 regulations. And then there's a chapter on capital allocation dealing with regulatory and economic capital and RAROC. You'll find several new theoretical and empirical results in this book. For example, how to scale VAR over longer horizons when you have autocorrelated returns. How to scale VAR in the context of historical simulation where the standard IID normal assumption isn't made, and how to measure the coherent VAR, or expected tail loss, it's another name for coherent VAR, when the portfolio returns have different types of distributions. Centuries ago, the medical profession had a small fraction of the knowledge that they have today, and as a result, people are living longer and happier lives. I liken the risk management profession to the medical profession centuries ago. At the moment, market risk managers have a small fraction of the knowledge that they need to prevent another financial crisis. The aim of the market risk analysis series of textbooks is to set the standards for this new profession and to provide the means by which to attain these standards.